Hello and welcome to Talk to My Car, where we make your cars talk to you uh, in languages that only they understand. We have a Facebook group forum uh, with a URL address um, highlighted here at the bottom where you can join us and uh, contribute to our um, discussions about modern uh, the operation of modern vehicles um, by electronic controls. Now, today we are going to have a chat about MAP sensor operation. MAP stands for Manifold Air Pressure, uh, Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor. Um, this is the sensor on the engine um, that measures um, the pressure in the manifold leading from the air filter to the um, engine valves. Um, as air um, that's going into the engine makes its way from the air filter that most of us know um, it goes through the throttle valve um, or throttle body now immediately it passes the throttle valve um, there is uh, a reduction in pressure because the engine is when it's running is usually sucking air into itself so behind the throttle valve um, will be a vacuum usually that area uh, instead of being pressurized will be vacuum between the air filter and the throttle body or throttle valve air pressure will be at atmospheric pressure figures but behind it immediately behind that valve um, all the way up to the um, engine inlet valves uh, will be a vacuum so this sensor measures the strength of that valve it's a typical three wire sensor um, with a piezoelectric resistor inside um, this is one that um, changes resistance as pressure changes and when its resistance changes depending on the voltages that have been applied to it um, the signal wire on this sensor will change voltages too um, in the next slide i'll explain in slightly more detail about how all this works um, So with um, this kind of arrangement, um, if you have, you would usually have five volts reference provided by the engine control module, the computer, and then you have, this is the signal wire in the middle, and then you have a sensor ground, uh, usually tied into the, into pin five of the OBD2 connector for vehicles that are fitted with uh, this type of 16 pin connector now inside here is a piezo electric resistor that I mentioned 5 volts will come into that sensor on one end and it will be grounded on this side and along the middle um, or the belly of that sensor is where this wire will pick a signal now Depending on the pressure, the voltages from that, um, the middle of that sensor, from the belly of the sensor, will change depending on the pressure. And this will generate the voltage, which will be interpreted as a signal for the computer on this wire. Briefly, that's how it works. Um, the, the, the higher the pressure on this sensor, the higher the, uh, the lower the resistance.
resistance and therefore the higher the voltage on that wire and vice versa. Yes, like I mentioned, there is a variable resistor in there. It's a piezoelectric resistor. This uh, piezoelectric resistor is made of uh, some kind of crystal, quartz, or some other material um, that changes resistance naturally, changes electrical resistance with pressure, and that's what's used in there. And just to recap once again, you have five volts going coming from the computer going to the, that end of the resistor of the piezoelectric resistor and then you have this side grounded from this end and then you have variable resistance occurring depending on the pressure that's um, being exerted to onto this resistor uh, in this case by the air uh, going uh, through the manifold from the throttle to the engine inlet valves. Um, usually, when this sensor indicates, um, it will indicate either low virtue or high virtue or anywhere in the middle. Just remember, when the vehicle is at idle or when the load is very low, the virtue will be very high because the throttle valve is almost closed and it's not letting a lot of air go through yet the engine is asking for a lot of that that'll create a lot of virtue as you open the throttle you are now kind of trying to balance what in effect you're doing is balancing um, the air pressure the atmospheric air pressure on the air filter side of the intake air intake system you are uh, balancing that pressure with uh, the pressure inside the uh, inside the manifold. In fact, when you step or press the accelerator pedal down all the way, you are exposing the engine air inlet valves to atmospheric pressure directly because the throttle is now wide open. So. Um, this sensor um, detects the level of that vacuum. The lower the vacuum, uh, the higher the signal you get on this wire, the higher the voltage you, you get on this wire, and that will, to the computer, will mean um, more air is going into the engine and. Uh, maintain stoichiometric ratios of fuel to air, the engine will command the injectors to dish out more fuel um, and that will uh, enable your vehicle to accelerate or to overcome uh, higher loads like go over hills and, and stuff. Uh, I hope you, you, you get the idea now. Once you get uh, a leak um, on the manifold, that is air um, getting into the manifold behind the throttle valve, you end up with less pressure, or rather less vacuum in the manifold and to the sensor, this will be an interpretation of, uh, to the map sensor, this will be an interpretation of uh, a wider uh, throttle opening and um, this will trigger increased fuel um, injection pulses from the computer and you have higher fuel consumption um, and that will give you drivability problems because you actually be using more fuel than you require and the oxygen sensor will, will report uh, rich conditions yet the, uh, the map is um, is is being deceived um, by the by the by the leak because there is extra air going in that's not going in through the uh, through the throttle valve. So there will be a discrepancy between what the throttle position sensor is seeing 
and uh, what the map is seeing, the mass air pressure sensor is seeing. Um, when you have uh, a code related to this sensor, say if you brought it, talk to my car, and we pulled off um, a map sensor related code from your ECM. Um, what we would then do is go to the sensor itself and um, initially plug it out, uh, put the vehicle in KOEO mode, that is key on engine off mode, and um, because that will make the ECM come live, come alive, and um, start uh, putting. Um, reference at the sensor so what we will then do is look for 5 volts on this wire or the end of the connector and then 0 volts on this one and then variable voltage on this one how would we achieve that you would then put if you're looking for five volt reference voltage here you connect the black wire of the um, of the multimeter if you have it connect it to uh, the um, negative battery terminal and the red wire have that connected onto this wire you should then see 5 volts on the voltmeter of the multimeter. Now, if that is okay, come to this wire, this one, this end, um, because you're expecting, you are looking for a ground, uh, connect the black wire of your multimeter to this wire here on the sensor, and then the red uh, wire of your multimeter onto the battery positive terminal you should see 12 volts then if that checks out fine um, put the black wire of your multimeter back onto the negative terminal of the vehicle's battery and the positive that is the red wire of the multimeter onto this middle wire and uh, you should see somewhere between say 0 0.5 0 0.85 to 1.3 or 1.5 volts at idle and when you rev this up this figure here should go up on the higher end um, as usual um, I prefer showing you a sample or how to use a wiring diagram in a case where you 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 are diagnosing um, a sensor or any other component related to engine management. In this case, um, I used a wiring diagram for from a repair manual, a factory repair manual for a 2009 Mitsubishi Kanta truck. Um, in this case, this is the example of the map sensor. It has four wires here because in the same sensor moldings, they have included the intake air temperature sensor as well. So you have one ground wire shown there, uh, which is, will be brown in color, as indicated in this diagram here. And then you have the signal wire for the map sensor. Um, that will be violet with the white stripe and uh, then you have the 5 volt reference voltage on a white wire and then you have the signal wire um, this is the signal wire uh, in white it's a white wire with a red stripe that will be the signal wire for the intake air temperature part of 
this sensor. What we need to focus on in this case is the map sensor. Um, you would then do the test like I've mentioned, but at least the wiring diagram has given you the location of where this is you're going to find this and it has shown you the uh, the color of the wires to look out for so you don't make a mistake um, when you go into the vehicle to make these tests to check for the health of this sensor usually after getting a code or even when you haven't got a code but you suspect uh, the functionality of that sensor based on how the engine is behaving so this is uh, really important uh, to have this these wiring diagrams because it, it prevents you from uh, guesswork and uh, saves you a lot of time again um, if you need to advise us or you need to consult us for any reason related to vehicle diagnosis please contact us on this number below um, we are very glad to be here to try to save you time money and headaches uh, talk to my car we are in partnership with the SSK Motor Garage and can be found at SSK Motor Garage in Chalwajala we thank you once again for your time, investment of time in watching this video and trying to learn with us how modern cars work. Thank you. Bye.